Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the end of the world book tag, which is originally created by I Love You for Books. I'm super excited to do this tag. I recently started following her channel and I saw that she um, created this tag um, a while ago. I think um, it was like I was binge watching and so <laughs> it was like a while back. So it's basically a list of natural disasters that have a question to go with them. So let's get right into the video. Number one is an earthquake. Earthquakes separate the ground into multiple pieces. What is your favorite book with multiple perspectives? My favorite book with multiple perspectives would probably be Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, I believe. Yeah, that book is told from a boy and a girl's perspective. <laughs> I cannot say perspective. I keep messing it up. That book is from a girl and a boy's perspective. I don't know how to explain it, and I'm probably just gonna explain it really bad, but the girl's from like this higher part of the side. It's like, I don't know. They're basically two different worlds, even though they're still in the same like world. It's like a futuristic book where like the girl, like the her society that she grew up with lives in like a dome and so that dome it's like they never go outside of it and everything outside is like kind of like a wasteland thing and so the guy lives out in like the wasteland and the girl lives like protected in the, the dome thing. <laughs> I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. And then obviously things happen and they meet and then I just, I just really like it. Um, but I also just love that book and it's very entertaining and very addictive. And I think Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey um, said it best which she was like, it was basically like crack cocaine because it's, you just, you read it and then you can't stop and then it's over and then you're sad. So Under the Never Sky, definitely my favorite book with multiple perspectives. Hmm. Can't say that. Multiple perspectives. <laughs> Number two is an asteroid. You can see an asteroid coming before it hits. What book did you see the plot twist coming way beforehand? For that book, I'm going to say Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Before I even read the book, just, someone told me the synopsis and I guessed what was going to happen. So. Number three is an epidemic. A disease that everybody seems to be contracting. What book does everybody seem to be getting that you don't want? I don't know. I feel like there's not like a book right now that like everybody's like obsessed with or that everybody's like hyping up. Or at least the people I watch aren't hyping it up. I guess I'll just go with like an older one. And that was like the Akatar and like the that series. Everybody's like people have been obsessed with that. Especially like the second book who like obsessed with it. And I didn't care. I don't care. And I won't care. Ever. Like, I don't have any interest in reading it, so. That's an epidemic that I do not want. Number four is a tsunami. Tsunami flood everything. What book flooded your thoughts and you couldn't get off your mind or stop thinking about? I feel like I pr forget books pretty easy. Like, there's not a lot of books that, like, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, usually while I'm reading it, I can't stop thinking about it, but then, like, after, like, I'm done. And, like, I just bring it up when I, when I want to think about it, you know? Um, but probably... What's it called? A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Um, not the whole book, just there's one part that I'm, I still think about all the time. And I'm uh, in love. They travel to Russia and just that whole part, I just, I just want a whole book that's that. Cause it's like, it has my favorite trope and it's like the princess and the guard, you know, and they can't be together but like, oh my gosh, and then they're in Russia which is just cool and then, oh, anyway. Love it. Can't stop thinking about it. Probably will never stop. Um, not that I, I didn't love the book, but I love that part a lot, so. Number five is a nuclear war. The battle of all battles between humans. Favorite human fight in a book. I don't read a lot of... I'm guessing this means, like, physical contact. I don't know what that was. Obviously, I don't fight. Um, <laughs> I don't read, like, a lot of fantasy books, like, action books that would have physical fighting in them. I guess the only... I mean, it'd be like the Immortal Instruments series and that, but like, those aren't my favorite. So I'm just gonna go with like a verbal fight, you know? Someone just like laying it on them, you know? People dragging each other. And I kind of have two of them. They're mostly, my favorite fight, my favorite are like when like couples fight or whatever. The one person is acting shady and they just need to get put in their place until then they finally, the other person finally like just says it and they get into a fight, but it's like, Everything they said was like right, so like that's my favorite. Anyway, um, <laughs> and I think my favorite of those fights is uh, probably the fight between Isla and Josh in Happily in, in Isla and the Happily Ever After, which is kind of funny because it's Happily Ever After. And then um, there's a fight between Lara and Peter in. Um, I think it's in this one. I think it's in the second one. I could be wrong. It's in one of them. Um, but yeah. I like those fights a lot. <laughs> I feel weird being like, I like when couples fight, but like, 
just seems like more realistic when like they have an argument at some point rather than just like oh life's perfect you know what I mean anyway moving on number six is alien invasion a best sci-fi novel I don't read a lot of sci-fi I'm always interested in sci-fi but I feel like there's not a lot of sci-fi in like the YA realm I guess but one sci-fi that I have or that I did really enjoy is the host by Stephanie Meyer now it's not like my favorite book of like all time I wouldn't be like oh yeah that book I love it but I really do enjoy it I watched the movie before I read this book which made me like it a lot more um, and be able to like know what was happening but I really enjoyed this book number seven is artificial intelligence robots computers technology taking over the world favorite book you have read on any sort of e-reader and for that one I'm going to go with poison study by Maria V Snyder I don't read a lot of e-books but I did read this one in January I believe I read it both in physical and e-read dirt that's so weird to say I don't know I don't talk about e-books ever but yeah I really enjoyed this book and I happened to read some of it on my phone. Number eight is End of the World Movie. End of the World slash disaster movies will continue to be made in Hollywood just like book to movie TV show adaptations. What book adaptations are you looking forward to? I don't want to keep up to date with like the adaptations that are coming out until it's like being advertised because it's like coming out soon. Um, <laughs> I don't think any of the books that I really like are coming out in movie form movie form coming out as a movie i am looking forward to seeing the darkest minds in theaters when it comes out it just seems seems pretty good and um amanda Lestenberg is the main character which i read i didn't finish that book but i read like half of it and i don't think she was black that's cool that she's the main character i don't know i knew that she was in it i don't know what i thought she would be but i didn't think she'd be the main character but she is and that's cool but yeah i didn't like i said i didn't finish the book i didn't love it but i am excited to see that movie all right guys that was it that was the end of the world book tag i had a lot of fun doing that tag if you want to answer any of these questions you can leave them down below as well as if you've read any of these books that i talked about i'd love to talk about them but i mean you can do whatever you want <laughs> um i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys